while mourning the recent loss of her mom, and while dealing with the loss of a brother. Riley Kiyo has got a lot of burdens on her sleeves. In fact, one of the many things that are rumored to add stress to Riley's life is the ongoing legal dispute her grandma Priscilla Presley initiated over what could have been a very controversial modification in the will of her mom, Lisa Marie Presley. It seems like this time, the grief and the stress are heavy on both Riley and Priscilla, which caused them to not talk to each other. If you are curious about what happened, watch this video. The Presley women have always been immune to the media reports of rifts in their family relationships, but this legal battle is something that made headlines and gave pressure and stress to both women. Riley Keough is not frequently cited as an instance of nepotism among the popular actors now on the scene, whose families have prior connections to the entertainment business. Success is undoubtedly paved for one who is a grandchild of the greatest singer of all time. And in recent times, the debate about the professional paths of so-called Nepo babies has dominated pop culture media. Kiyo, who is basically the queen of ethically ambiguous characters, has forged her own path to fame by taking on demanding, dramatic parts and being unafraid to present herself in a negative light. Riley Kiyo, who is his grandchild, was greatly influenced by Elvis Presley's music. She claimed in an appearance that listening to some Elvis songs makes her feel quite emotional. Kiyo talked about her connection to Elvis Presley's music. She affirmed, I don't put it on. If it's on, I'll listen to it. There's definitely emotion around it. There was definitely a lot of grief around it growing up, especially seeing my mom and my grandmother. It was kind of a sad thing, tragic kind of a thing. So there was definitely that relationship to it. And I could see from a young age, it would make my mom sad. And so I could feel that. And she added, It's definitely an emotional experience, especially if it's one of the more emotional songs. If it's one of the more upbeat songs, it's not. The more gospel or that kind of stuff definitely makes me emotional. Riley is close to her mom, Lisa Marie Presley, and has also been seen together with her grandma before her mom passed away. However, things are turning different this time. What with all the issues and the legal drama ensuing before the public's eyes. Moreover, the Queen of Scientology, Karen de la Carrière, said something about the relationship between Priscilla and Lisa Marie. She spent 35 years as a prominent member of the organization. She claims that Priscilla Presley embraced Scientology to assist and manage her daughter's behavioral issues. After she had turned to religion to cope with the sadness of Elvis Presley's unexpected death in 1977. According to De La Carrier, if Elvis had been alive, he would never have let it happen. A request for comment from DailyMail.com did not receive a response from Priscilla Presley. The organization does not comment on parishioner therapy. According to a spokesperson for Scientology named Karen Pooh. But she said that church leadership is heartbroken by Lisa Marie's passing. She continued, The church's relationship with Lisa Marie was one of warmth and care. Della Carrier claimed that John Travolta brought Priscilla to the organization. She stated, She was in a bad mental condition and had gone through a big loss. Elvis had died, and in her weak moment of great loss, Travolta persuaded her to come in. Lisa Marie, on the other hand, talked openly about how her mom's rigorous parenting style strained their connection as a kid. She said that she occasionally terrorized her mom and that this made it difficult for the pair to be close. After Elvis passed away, Lisa Marie was just nine years old, so Priscilla started keeping a closer eye on her. Lisa Marie stated that she wanted to be remembered as a good mom, mostly, and a pretty okay singer-songwriter. In an interview with The Guardian from 2012, it was obvious how much she cared for her kids. In a 2012 conversation with The Guardian, Presley said that after growing up in Memphis as the sole child of legendary singer Elvis Presley, having all my children was indeed the greatest period in her life. She claimed that when Benjamin committed suicide in 2020, just at age 27, she was heartbroken. 
Following a report that Priscilla Presley has been alienated from her child, Lisa Marie Presley, for the final eight years of her life, it seems that by contesting an amendment to Lisa Marie's will, that gave Riley Keyo control over her estate, including Graceland, she is also on track to risk alienating her granddaughter. Priscilla claims Lisa Marie's signature on a 2016 modification was inconsistent, challenging the legality of her late daughter's will, which she had been left out of. The source believes that Priscilla is genuinely convinced that the old documents had been forged, in contrast to those who feel the action is just a money grab. Lisa Marie's acquaintances do believe that she will be pissed by her mother's attempts to exert control over her trust, though. In fact, insiders told The Post earlier this year that before Lisa Marie's terrible death, the two didn't even get along. The friend said that Lisa didn't want to have anything to do with her mom. She was basically estranged from Priscilla for the last seven to eight years. They only talked when there was no option. Priscilla Presley said in a statement to the press that she is acting out of love, as well as a desire to defend the rights of her grandchildren, as well as the memory of her former spouse, Elvis Presley who passed away in 1977 at the age of 42. Elvis had given his whole wealth to Lisa Marie Presley, the only child, including his cherished Graceland house in Memphis. Priscilla Presley also rejected claims that there was something other than love or a family conflict. Priscilla stated to E.T., I loved Elvis very much as he loved me. Lisa is a result of our love. For anyone to think anything differently would be a travesty of the family legacy and would be disrespectful of what Elvis left behind in his life. During their legal dispute over Lisa Marie Presley's estate, Riley Keo and Priscilla Presley had experienced a very difficult and distressing few weeks. According to a family insider who spoke to Entertainment Tonight, Priscilla's choice to challenge her daughter's will has caused a rift between the grandmother and granddaughter. Riley is devastated to deal with a trust issue with a relative since she has been grieving the loss of her mother. The source stated, Riley has been mourning the loss of her mother and is heartbroken to have to deal with a trust dispute with a family member. And added, Priscilla is adamant that she has a valid case and that she will prevail in court. Riley and Priscilla aren't communicating at this time but have been in communication through lawyers. Both women are said to be making preparations for a protracted legal battle, although Kiyo would prefer to resolve this dispute quietly. The source stated, she is heartbroken that this has turned into a public matter and knows her mother would never want this. And adding that Kiyo is very stressed, yet trying to keep a positive attitude. Elvis lone child, Lisa Marie, passed away on January 12 at the age of 54 following a cardiac attack. She was buried in Graceland near her late father and her child Benjamin, who committed suicide in 2020. Why do you think this legal dispute caused a rift in their relationship this time? Share with us your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. Please give us a like if you had fun watching. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in our next